Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on July the 26th. You guys, this one is a great reminder of how to order our day and orient ourselves. Make sure we are facing the kingdom and not the culture. And it says, relax and let me lead you. And when you have anxious thoughts or your, your belly is tied up in knots, planning, controlling, all of that is a sign that we are not trusting, trusting that his ways are greater than our ways. So learning on this journey of self-awareness, kind of how our body is responding to our thoughts, how our body is responding to what we are hearing, how our body is responding to what we are seeing, and then acknowledging that we need to turn over the reins to our creator and savior. We do not know what the day holds, but we do know who holds the day. So on to the readings. I really spent some time in Psalms this morning because when you look at Psalm 32 and then you look at Psalm 131, what is it, 119 and then 143, we kind of have... Um, a different, it's an author from a different perspective. And I do know that David was the author of Psalm 32 and 143, and that Psalm 119, it says it is unknown. So I'll start with Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. So this is a promise from God coming through David giving us the reminder of who is truly in control. I will instruct you and teach you, but you guys, we have to show up in that classroom. That is our choice. That is our free will. If we come prepared to receive his word, his peace, then he can teach us. And then we are training. I said, it's the, the sheep to the shepherd. It's getting ourselves in the right order. We are not in control. We are not in charge. So we have to allow him to counsel us, him to guide us. This is just a truth and a promise of the Bible. The next one is Psalm chapter 119, verse 35. This changes the perspective. It says, direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. So the first one, it come, a message comes from God through David. I will instruct you. I will teach you. I will counsel you. I will cover you, a promise of the Bible. And then Psalm 119 direct me, like a pleading from our heart, from the recipient, from this author, the writing, the writer is expressing gratitude and appreciation. This is referred to as a tribute to, to the word of God. So Psalm 119, 35, direct me in the path of your commands for there I find delight. So again, just, I just had to spend time because I was like, who's writing this? What's the perspective? Who's like, where is God flowing to and through? So this one is a plea. This is us pleading, saying, direct me, Father. So during a time of um, maybe distress, when we need to remind ourselves, we need to come and steep in his word, written from a place of gratitude and appreciation. Another reminder that that is what helps us pull ourselves into his powerful presence, seeking gratitude. Sometimes we have to be thankful for that darkness, for that contrast, and then listen, be still and know. And the final reading is Psalm chapter 143, verse eight. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift my soul. And when I did some research on Psalm 143, this was a season of distress for David. There was a lot of doubt in the culture. And so what he had to do is remind himself. This is how we fortify ourselves, fan our own flame by sitting in his presence. And they said this was written at a sunrise. Let the morning bring me just a reminder that he is the creator, he is in control. When we are planning and controlling, it shows a lack of trust. So we need to reorient ourselves. We need to turn over when we catch ourselves with those anxious thoughts and our body is tied up in knots and our fists are clenched and our jaw is clenched. Just know our body is communicating. Our soul is kind of not knocking at the door of the ego saying, and hold on, who's in charge here today? So just a great reading. I think July the 26th, relax and let me lead you. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.